Hi, first graders. In your packet this week, you should have got a number line. Number lines are a very useful tool. Sometimes you use your math rack for counting and adding, but you can also um, use a number, a number line. Same thing. Let's do um, an addition question. How about 6 plus 2? You could move 6 over and then another 2. You could use your math rack. Hopefully you can, I'm going to 6 over, 2 more. Or you could use a number line. You could, I'm going to use a bean because I think that helps me remember where I start. 6 plus 2. Start at 6 and then take a pencil and jump to 1, 2, and we get the number 8. Or up here you have 6 plus 2 beads, and that's 5, 6, 7, 8. So number lines are another tool. Math racks are a tool. Number lines are a tool. Today you have a lot of subtraction questions. Lots of subtraction questions. You need to pay attention because this is takeaway. It means we're getting smaller. We're not adding. So in subtraction, if you want to use a number line, let's start with, let's start with 8, take away 3. I would put my bean or marker on 8, and then I to take away, I'm going to jump back 3. So I'm going to jump back 3 from 8. 1, 2, 3. Well, that makes 5. You could also do it with your math rack. You start with, let's see, I'm trying to make sure you can see this. You start with 8, and then you take away 3, and that leaves 5. So to do your subtraction problems, you can use your number line and jump back, or you can use your math rack and take away. Or you can use your brain if you can do it in your brain. Um, let's do this one. 7 take away 3. We start at 7, and then we go back 3. 1, 2, 3. And we land on number 4. 7 take away 3 is 4. Not sure? Let's check it with our math rack. Move over 7, and then take away 3. That leaves 1, 2, 3, 4. I've given you lots and lots of subtraction pages because I want this to be really get super easy for you because after a while, you might know the answer. Like with this one, you don't need to use a math rack. 5 take away 3. You can think of your um, number bonds. What's 3 plus what makes 5? 3, 4, 5. 3 plus 2. So 5 take away 3 is 2. With math, there are many different ways to picture how to get to an answer. Your teachers don't mind which way you use to picture it. We just want it to get easier and easier. 3 take away 3. I can picture that in my brain. If I have 3 cookies and I eat 3, I've got no cookies left. At the very bottom of your page, it asks you a question. This was easy, just right, or hard. When you finish your page, decide is it easy, just right, or hard. That will give your teacher some information. Let me show you all the pages, there's just more and more subtraction. You might do just 10 minutes on it or 5 minutes, put a timer on, and then maybe come back to it later in the day. You don't have to do them all at once. There's another page, and then the last page. Just see how far you get. But it is really good for your brain to practice lots of subtractions in these small numbers. These are very small numbers. And you can think in terms of using your number line or your math rack 
or just what you know about number bonds. Five and what are the two parts of seven? Five and two. So I know that answer is two. Okay, lots of subtraction. Use your tools and try and get really strong at subtraction. That's it for today.